not one, not two, three trophies, one season, the treble. Congrats to Manchester City. Let's take a look at a few of their players under the age of 23 who are absolutely vital in those trophies becoming a reality and could be super important in the years to come. What is going on, everyone? I'm Andrew at St. Croix Cards, and welcome into just another episode of the Slab Stocks FC show. And today's topic, we're talking about the treble. I know Manchester City has done something that no other Premier League team has done in over 20 years. Manchester United did it, and now Manchester City has won all three major trophies. And what an accomplishment it is. And they've really done it through a core group of young players. And those are the players that I want to look at today. And we cannot talk about Manchester City with, without talking about their talisman, their number nine, Erling Holland, 22 years old. And what this guy has done this year is absolutely incredible. 35 games in the Premier League, 36 goals, eight assists. He had three goals in the FA Cup run and didn't really see much time until the end of that tournament. Champions League action, he had 12 goals in 11 a game, games and added an assist. So I thought, you know what, with that historic season, let's take a look at a little bit of his pricing. And I do want to look at his 2019 Topps Chrome Bundesliga Refractor. So here is the chart from Card Ladder. Card Ladder does a great job of charting the, charting the cards. And here is that 2019 Topps Chrome Bundesliga Erling Holland Refractor PSA 9. And I chose PSA 9 because I think, you know, as an affordability and to kind of look at the number of sales, it works out where we can kind of chart a few more sales with that PSA 9 versus the PSA 10. But I've only gone back to January of 2023. And you can see at the start of 2023, this card was, was trending at about $1,200. Now, during that time, up until kind of present day, Manchester City has won the league, won the FA Cup, and won the Champions League for the first time. So they've won the treble, and we've seen a steadily declining chart or graph of Erling Holland, which is interesting to me and says a lot about maybe just the current state of the soccer market. So here is where I'm going to go back a little bit further even because you saw that chart. It said $1,200. But here, October 27th, so leading up into the World Cup last year in 2022, we saw a PSA 9 of the 2019 Topps Chrome Bundesliga Refractor sell for $1,700. Now, this PSA 9 has a pop of 101. The 10s actually have more at 137, but $1,700 for a PSA 9 in October. And if you fast forward to just after the treble win, you saw this same PSA 9 go for $945. So I don't necessarily think it's based on, it can't be based on his production on the pitch because he has just absolutely done things that nobody thought would be done. If you were to say that at the start of the season, treble, all three trophies, and the Premier League goal scoring record, I don't think people would believe you. But the scary thing is, is how City played down the stretch with him up front and what that could mean for the Premier League and the, and the Champions League and the FA Cup going into next year. This man only scores goals, and it's looking like the teams are really set uh, and looking for more trophies for the years to come. So great season for Holland. You've seen a little bit of dip in prices, but I think that's because of the overall index of soccer has come down a little bit, and it's affecting his prices. I chose the Bundesliga card because I, I really do like the image on the Bundesliga card more than I like it on the UEFA card. I would love to know your comments, your thoughts. Do you like the 2019 Topps Chrome uh, UEFA or the Bundesliga? For me, it's the Bundesliga and the Refractor at that. But beautiful card, great card of Erling Holland. And now it's almost like you're wondering what could he do for an encore? What could next year bring for Erling Holland and Manchester City? So 22 years old. Uh, the next person in line is Phil Foden. Uh, you know, I really, really was high on Phil Foden entering this year. I thought this was going to be his absolute coming out party. Uh, and it didn't quite happen the way that I thought it would. Phil Foden still just 23 years old uh, and, and really at times struggled to get into that starting 11 at Manchester City. I think this is going to be a pretty big problem moving forward for a lot of guys at Manchester City. You can only play 11 guys at a time, and, and Man City's depth is, is just one of the things that has them stand out 
from every other club in the Premier League. Their, their second team could do really, really well in the Premier League all by themselves. And so looking at Phil Foden, still a very, very solid year, especially with a lot of those games coming off the bench, 32 games in, in the Premier League, 11 goals, five assists. Uh, he added five games that he played in the FA Cup, again, towards the end of, of the FA Cup run, three goals, two assists. And he had a goal and assist in eight Champions Champion League games. But I was interested to know what is his pricing doing. Again, um, Phil Foden, I'm using his 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Hollow PSA 9 for our discussions here today. And if you look at the chart, now I've gone a little bit further back on the chart, and it does a pretty good job of kind of showing you the ebbs and flow of Phil Foden since June of 2022. So this is a whole year's worth of graphs. Now, if you're watching this graph uh, uh, online, you can see that it basically looks like a small mountain range, peaks and valleys, right? And if you're listening uh, to this, uh, there it, there's a lot of movement on Phil Foden. It, it kind of starts at about $200 uh, and the, in the June date of 2022, and it kind of peaks over 200, about 240, 250, and then it kind of drops down towards the uh, in at the end of May, where you're looking at just under a hundred dollars for that optic hollow. So here is the last sale after the treble win, June 12th, 2018, 2019, PSA 9, uh, Panini Donors Optic Hollow, Phil Foden, rookie card, rated rookie, 80. $5. Now, the reason, again, I, I chose the PSA 9 for this one, there are 141 PSA 9s uh, for the Optic Hollow rated rookie of Phil Foden, as opposed to only 23 PSA 10s. So I wanted to take a look at a card that had a little bit higher pop that we could kind of see maybe more sales happening and kind of be able to look and say, okay, what's Phil Foden been doing over the course of the year? But for $85 to me, uh, for a guy who is that talented, I don't think that you could keep him out of the starting 11 moving forward. I, I just think he's got all the qualities yet you're looking for. I think that he needs to be in the starting 11, uh, whether it is on the wing or in the midfield. Uh, but, but Phil Foden is too good to be a super sub at 23 years old. That's my own personal opinion. I would love to know yours, but $85 uh, on this card seems to me like it's a pretty good price seeing that back in August. So back in August, it sold for $200.89. That PSA 9 sold for $200.89. Optic Hollow rated rookie of Phil Foden. Now, I think he's incredible. I think he's doing some absolutely fantastic things at Manchester City. Uh, entering, you know, kind of being 24, 25, 26. I think he's going to be hitting his prime. You know, he is, he is scary good, uh, coupled with KDB and some of those other veterans in there. I just think the best is yet to come for Phil Foden. Uh, personally, for me, um, I actually moved a Phil Foden that I was really uh, I attached to at the Midwest Monster uh, this last weekend. Uh, I hate to see it go, but I was able to pick up a, a really great Bukayo Saka, which was great. But I still think this guy is going to win a many, many more trophies for Manchester City. That hurts me as an Arsenal fan, but you can see the writing on the wall and just the massive amount of players with quality on this Manchester City team. And you wonder, who are they going to bring in? Next. So the third guy on my list that I do want to talk about. Oh, uh, before we move on to my third player, I do want to point out this Phil Foden. Uh, this was a great sale. I thought June 11th in the PWCC auction. This is the purple press proof one of one Phil Foden 2018. Uh, Panini Dunross press proof purple one to one. You don't see many purple one to ones come up. This is a PSA eight sold for four thousand two hundred dollars on PWCC's weekly auction. So this is a Dunross. This is the paper copy, but I thought that was a pretty healthy sale for Phil Foden, who who really wasn't an active starter throughout the entire year uh, for Manchester City. Uh, but the third guy that I wanted to bring up and I did want to talk about a little bit today is Julian Alvarez, 23 years old, and what a season he has had. Not only does he win the treble. But you also say Julian Alvarez won the quad when you add the World Cup to his resume. Absolutely fantastic year. I think he's one of only four players to ever win the Champions League and the World Cup in the same year. I wonder if he, and I, I, you'd have to check me, check me uh, but is he the only person to win a quad in a World Cup year? So great accomplishment for him. Trophy after trophy after trophy after trophy, medal after medal after medal after medal. But really, you know, he is playing second fiddle to Erling Holland. 31 games in the Premier League, nine goals and an assist. FA Cup, he had in five games, three goals, two assists. Uh, Champions League, 
10 games, three goals, two assists, and he did have four goals in that World Cup in 2022. I'm looking today at his Kaboom card. I think that that is one of the more kind of standout inserts that we see in in, in soccer, across, I guess across the board in all sports. But this is the 2022-2023 Panini Donors FIFA Kaboom. So this is with the rookie card on a task or rookie card label or sticker on it. June 11th, this sold for $488.00. And 12 cents. So pretty solid sale there. Uh, a little bit after the release uh, that has come out. So $488.12, I think is pretty, pretty solid overall. But you can go even back to early May, May 3rd, 2023. Uh, the Kaboom of Julian Alvarez sold for $610. But my question is for a guy that is young, 23 years old, very, very good striker. There were a lot of people asking about Julian Alvarez at the Midwest Monster. The people that I had contact with and I was talking to, uh, they were asking if I had any, you know, or, you know, we were at the Slab Stocks booth and they were saying, hey, do you have any Julian Alvarez? We, we moved a Julian Alvarez. And, and so my question is, you know, about the overall, you know, he's a big name in the hobby, but is his production on the pitch going to match the prices that we are going to see his card sell for because Erling Holland is not slowing down. Erling Holland is younger than Julian Alvarez. So either he has to at some point go somewhere else or kind of have to find his fit in that starting 11. And again, I think that you're going to see Erling Holland dominate the goals as he should as a striker. So 30, you know, 36 goals. I mean, it, it, can he get to 40? And what is that going to mean for the production of the players around him? The Phil Foden's, the Julian Alvarez's, you know, the Rian Mares's, the KDB's goals, you know, uh, where are they going to, to, to get their goals? And, and are they going to, is their value going to start to decrease because of Erlen Holland and all that he's doing up front? So is, is, is he going to kind of shadow the rest of them? I would love to know your thoughts, but there was a lot of talk about him. And, and for me, I'm looking at it saying, where is he going to get the goals? And where does he go from here when he's won everything? Uh, and then he's still not actively playing the starting striker role at Manchester City. So just my thoughts, but I thought those prices, you know, are, are healthy. Uh, but are they a little too healthy for a guy who is not the main striker on a team. Now I know he's backing up one of the best strikers in the world, if not the best striker in the world right now. Uh, but this is my thoughts here as we looked at Manchester City and we could not be done without the teenager himself, Rico Lewis. And I just wanted to bring him up because I think he's super important because Pep has a way of bringing in teenage young talent and kind of infusing them into the side. Now he didn't play a ton of games this year, 14 games in the Premier League, didn't have a goal or assist. Uh, five games in the FA Cup, no goals, no assists. Champions League, he did have a goal, uh, but some of his stuff is going is, is selling pretty well. And one of those that I wanted to bring out because there were a few sales was the 2022-2023 Panini Prism Premier League. This is the Blue Mojo. This is out of 25. Uh, and June 12th, this sold for just over $100, a raw copy, $101.22 uh, on June 12th. Now, if you back up just a little bit, April 11th, uh, this same mojo out of 25 uh, of, from Premier League Prism Premier League of this year, uh, his rookie sold for $145. And then back in March, it sold for $90. Uh, so March 31st at the end of March, uh, that mojo, a blue mojo out of 25 sold for $90. Pretty healthy sales for a right back that is 18 years old. But, but the thing that I'm looking at in all of this is just the young talent Manchester Uni uh, City, excuse me, has, has kind of infused in their side. Now they still got great players like KDB who, you know, the veteran leadership, uh, you know, you've got so many players that it just seems like the balance is there. And they really tend to, in my eyes, really started to hit the ground running. Now, I know people will always say, you know, Arsenal bottled the league. Um, you know, one of the things I look at is depth of squad. You know, and, and Arsenal uh, had, you know, not a huge depth in squad and played the same guys week in and week out. Just the sheer depth of squad that Pep has built and put together on this city team. It's not surprising that they won the treble. Did I want them to win the treble? Was I cheering for Man City to, to win the treble? Uh, as an Arsenal fan, no, I wasn't. I was still a little bitter that we we didn't win the league, uh, and I'm sure other fans in other places uh, were were not actively cheering for Man City to win the treble. 
Uh, but it is an accomplishment. It is an absolute accomplishment to do that. Uh, it hasn't been done in over 20 years. The thing that I'm thinking of is this young talent, Erling Holland. We're looking at Phil Fodens. We're looking at Julian Alvarez. We're looking at guys like Rico Lewis. They're reloading, and they're going to be ready to go again next year. Uh, and if they've figured out how to play with Erling Holland as the nine, as he continues to get better, and as these players continue to get better, at just 22, 23, 18 years of old, uh, 18 years old, this this team is looking extremely dangerous, not just for this treble win, but for the years ahead. And as an Arsenal fan, as any other fan of any other club in the Premier League, you got to look at this and and kind of kind of scratch your head and wonder. You know, is any other team going to win anything else? So that's my kind of treble tribute to Manchester City. Uh, different episode. Next uh, next episode, we're going to look at a little bit more of the transfer market. What are the movers and the shakers already happening in the, in the transfer market? But a little bit of shorter episode today. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you kind of take a look and research those players. I am Andrew at St. Croix Cards. Feel free to DM me and reach out to me with any questions or comments of this episode. And we'll see you all again next time. Have a good one, guys.